Now, there's another neurotransmitter, uh, neuromodulator, another system in the brain that uses uh, another substance called serotonin. And serotonin uh, is another one of these ancient neuromodulatory systems, but the function of serotonin is really a mystery. We just don't yet know as much about it as we know about dopamine, for example. But we have a pretty good guess, and I'm going to tell you what that guess is. But first, let me give you a little bit of background on serotonin. So uh, measurements have been made on monkey brains to see the level of serotonin activity and try to correlate it with behavior. And here's what they've discovered. In, these are in uh, vervet monkeys up at UCLA. What they, well, first of all, the vervet monkeys have a pecking order. There's an alpha male, and then uh, there's a subordinate male, and then that goes all the way down to the most junior member of the, of the uh, troop, monkey troop. So first of all, if you measure the baseline level of serotonin activity, you discover that the alpha male has the highest serotonin activity. And the guy at the very bottom of the pecking order has the lowest. And their behaviors are very different. Uh, now, you might think that you know, the alpha male fights a lot, right? Because he's the tough one. Not so. Turns out the alpha male rarely fights. He only fights when it's really important. He has his lieutenants fight. He uses social uh, uh, interactions to be able to preserve his position in his society. So here's an experiment that was done. What you do is you take the male away, out of the, the alpha male, away from the troop so that uh, he's no longer there. And now what you do is you give a drug to one of the other males somewhere in the, toward the bottom to raise their serotonin levels, right, so that th th it goes up. What do you think happens? Well, a couple weeks, takes a while. After a couple weeks, their status goes up. And what's interesting is that the, the males don't notice it. The females notice this first. Females immediately pick up there's something different about this guy, right? Maybe he's gentler, or maybe he's you know more trustworthy, whatever it is, you know, maybe he brings them food. But suddenly the females start paying more attention to him. And the next thing you know, the rest of the males follow. He becomes the alpha male. <laughs> Do you know what that drug was that they gave that monkey? Prozac. Prozac is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So the serotonin is squirted out by the neurons and then it's taken back up. But if you block that reuptake, it increases the concentration and the activity, that impact that, that serotonin has. And that's what they did. They, they were able to manipulate the, the social behaviors of the monkeys by simply changing the balance of serotonin. It also is correlated with a lot of other types of behavior, just briefly, if you're interested. Uh, so the low serotonin monkeys um, take risks. For example, they leap between branches. Uh, they take big risks. They leap 10, 20 feet, and they often fall. They get into trouble. Monkeys have uh, a very uh, traditional way of dealing with um, altercations. Uh, it's, it doesn't make a lot of sense to uh, fight in order to settle something when it's clear that one of them is bigger than the other. So what you do is you posture. You know, you, you uh, raise your voice and try to sound as low as possible so that you can sound like you're big. And then uh, after a few minutes, it becomes clear that one of them is going to beat up the other one. So the, other, the, the, sub, the one becomes submissive and everything's fine. Everybody knows their place, right? Well, these low serotonin monkeys don't wait. Even if they're smaller, they just go for the jugular. And of course, they get smashed. <laughs> so th they're risk takers. So it's an interesting, it's a, the whole set of behaviors is different. 